Friday, 7 a.m. It's gonna be a good one, let me tell ya. Uh, I'm about to jump in the shower, but did you miss me last week? I was in Orlando, uh, and uh, we can talk about it later, but this weekend we got lots of stuff going on. Lunch with girlfriends, a first date, um, a lot of work. Uh, cooking, we're cooking together. <laughs> I was like, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'll check it in a little bit, but uh, that's it for now. All right, you guys, eight o'clock. Still in the same place I was the last time we spoke, but I wanted to share something with you guys. So in a previous video, it was a Mrs. video, I talked about two deodorants, like all natural, green, organic, vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, uh, free range, <laughs> grain fed deodorants that um, I used and failed. And I went back to my Schmitz. This is the one that I normally use. Please do not mind its grotesque appearance. Um, so I like this one. However, two things. Uh, white t shirts turn yellow. Um, and then I stink about, I don't know, like at the end of the day. So it's not like ruining my life but they're not like clinical strength like I was used to uh, using when I would poison my body. <laughs> and I really should not be facetious about this topic, let's be honest. Um, but everyone said, native, 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 you have to try native, it's the way it is. So I listened to you guys and I placed an order. They were having a Memorial Day sale. So today, after I got out of the shower about 30 minutes ago, I tried the native deodorant. Um, this is the coconut and vanilla one. I think with deodorants, you're supposed to use them before bed, right? And then you wake up the next morning with like fresh pits. I use them after I shower. So I get out, I shower, shave my armpits or my underarms or whatever's left of there because I'm getting laser, remember? Um, and then, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, and then I apply deodorant. That's just the way I do it. And you know what? I took it as a sign that this deodorant might work because, hold please. So I totally took it as a sign that this deodorant would work because when I placed my order, they had a promo on these. These are miniature. How cute is that? Okay, so um, I don't remember what the, uh, what the sale was, but um, it was, these were free. And then these aren't as expensive as I thought they would be. I mean, I think I spent like 25 bucks for all of this. And so, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna be giving me tiny deodorants like these, you have my full support. Okay, so these two are the Coconut Vanilla. This one is Cotton and Lily, and then this one smells awful. This is Gardenia and Orchid, but it's a deodorant, nobody cares. So I'm gonna try these out today. So that'll be the plan. Um, I applied it at around 7.30, so we're gonna kinda see how the day goes on. Can we please talk about how awful my skin is? I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face has been betraying my entire existence. Also, we need to talk about how my whole purpose in life was my tan. Do you guys remember that joke? I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't say it that often. It was just, I would just sprinkle it here and there. Hello, my tan, ha ha ha, just kidding. Um, so I get back from Orlando. My body is like 47 different colors. Um, and now I don't have a single foundation that matches my face. So I had to go to Sephora and get some backups. So I got a, the darkest shade in the Urban Decay One and Done um, so that I could squeeze a couple pumps into my medium shade and then I'll find my match. But when I was doing that, I got the Happy Foundation or whatever from Benefit in the mail yesterday. So I'm like, oh, maybe I could do a first impression on that today uh, and then uh, hopefully edit it and post it next week. Can we talk about my nail polish? Can we talk about my nail polish? So this is kale polish in Tropicana. How pretty is that? You know the best part about this nail polish? It doesn't stink. All yellow nail polishes in the history of nail polish history stink. I mean, awful. This one doesn't smell like anything. I wonder if it's because it's one of those healthier nail polishes, like seven free or six free or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's Tropicana. I do have a discount code. I'm going to flash it up on the screen. It is an affiliate code. Yeah. So look how pretty that is. Isn't that stunning? I have a uh, Salia on my toes right now. I would show you, but that's just weird. You want to see, don't you? All right, fine. I'll show you, but only because I love you guys. All right, cochinas. This, these are my toes. They're a little beat up because they were in chlorine for about three days straight. So that's Celia. It's like a fruit punch hot pink. Anyway, I'm gonna flash 
an affiliate code on the screen right now for you guys. It's gonna get you guys a discount off your order. It is an affiliate code, which means I do get some commission if you use that code. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, you know what, you guys? I love this polish. Get it anyway, use someone else's code. You won't hurt my feelings. Um, like I told you guys before in a favorites video a few months ago, I was like, man, I love KO polish because it's one of those polishes that I have to remove before it actually chips because it starts getting dull. So it's on my nails so much or so long that it gets yucky, but not because it actually chips or because I get bored with the color. I'm like, oh, let's switch it up. Uh, so it's pretty good. But I did complain about the brush. However, I feel like the longer I use it, the more I've gotten acclimated to using the brush. It's one of those like really chubby wide brushes, which everyone loves. I'm the only diva that is like, oh, it's too chubby. Since when do I have problems with chubby things? Right? I'm like obsessed with miniature chubby things. I should be obsessed with this nail polish brush. And I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting so used to it that I kind of like it now. But regardless, um, Kathleen has designed two yellow nail polishes. So who's the real MVP here? Let's talk about that. Isn't that pretty? I can't stop looking at it. And everyone's like, oh my God, you look extra tan. I'm like, am I extra tan or is it the yellow polish? I think it's a combination of both. In fact, I got so tan that look at this. Can you see that? Look at my face. My face is like vanilla. Right here, we're talking chocolate. And over here, we're talking caramel. Like, am I making good choices in my life? You guys should see the rest of my body. I swear, I'm like 87 different shades of fair all the way to tan. It's pretty exciting. I should probably not talk so much when I look like this, right? I need to start getting ready. Anyway, I'm gonna update you guys on my native deodorant experience later in this vlog. Um, I do wanna get ready. And I also, I'm having lunch with my friend Rosie. Uh, we were gonna do that vintage, remember I told you guys in like three vlogs ago we are gonna do a vintage makeover or whatever? Uh, we're putting that on hold for now, but we're still gonna hang out because that's what you do with your friends. So we're gonna have lunch. I have a date this evening, um, and I have lots of work to do. So that's it. Hey, Mern, say good morning to all your friends. Hey, Mern, say good morning to all your friends. Sit. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, hello. Oh, you really wanna say good morning. Yes, you do. Oh, hi, pretty girl. What's up, my pretty girl? Why are you guys all sneezy? Why are you guys all sneezy? Hey, hi, hi. Where's my little crew? Where's my little four-legged crew? You guys are so silly. Why are you so silly? Look at him. Popo, show me your diaper. What you doing? Give me a kiss. Mern, come. Ernesta, come. Give mommy a kiss. Give mommy a kiss. Hey, you guys. Okay, so it's 1030. Um, I just sat down to uh, try the Hello Happy Foundation that I was telling you guys about from Benefit. Um, it comes in 12 different shades, and um, I'm kind of in between, I would say, five and six. Five is really pink, and six is a little dark, so I'm a little confused. I'm having trouble picking out my right shade. Now, it claims to have neutral undertones, which I don't believe to be true. Um, the good thing though is that it's light to medium coverage, it's buildable, so that means that um, it'll be a lot more forgiving uh, if I pick the wrong color, or it's a lot easier to make it work. So yeah, I'm between five and six right now. I think what I'm gonna do is take a couple drops of one and then keep, take a couple drops of the other. I'm already, uh, I already spot concealed, that's why it looks a little shaded in certain areas of my face. I spot concealed with the new shade of uh, Soft Matte concealer from NARS. I bought the shade Biscuit, which is obviously way too dark, but it's actually the same shade as the rest of my body where I'm tan. You guys, I use the sunscreen for my face because I was like, no wrinkles, no sun damage, no nothing. Not a stitch of color came on my face, which is a good thing, but now it doesn't match the rest of my body, like at all, not even a little bit. So this is you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I have to make this match this. That's gonna be kind of hard, but you know, I'm keeping an open mind. I'm running a little bit behind, so I'm gonna meet Rosie a little bit later, but Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. It is a um, light to medium coverage uh, blurring foundation. It does have sunscreen and it does not have flashbacks. So I'm gonna film a review on it probably tomorrow because I wanna use it today so I can have 
actual, an actual concrete opinion about the thing, the thing, the foundation. Um, so we're gonna do that right now and then uh, see what trouble we get into in a little bit. Okay, you guys, 12 o'clock. What do we think? My skin looks flawless. I look so tan. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to go downstairs and take some pictures, but so far, I'm kind of excited that I, uh, I'm i so tan right now because I could actually pull off like a lot lighter nude lipsticks. You know, I don't get so lost or they don't look so concealer-y, but what do we think? Like, maybe I'm having a good makeup day, you guys. Hey, you guys, 12.45, heading out the door, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Uh, my friend was like, I'm bringing my camera, dress cute, and I was like, Okay. She's like, I want to take your picture. So hopefully we can do something fun like that. Otherwise, I mean, it's always nice to see Rosie. Um, so we are going to I Declare, which is like a Southern type eatery. It's such a cute, cute restaurant. I mean, if you want to do Instagram worthy flat lays, you do it there. The dishes, like the little serving ware, the mugs, everything, the decor is just so Adorable. Anyway, I'm uh, being long-winded as usual, so let me show you guys my outfit of the day. I got this cool, awesome, super duper top at Old Navy when I was in Orlando with Sam. Uh, this was like $12 or something. Isn't that cute? Cold shelter. Then my white jeans that I'm always wearing in these videos. My bow sandals that I'm always wearing in these videos. The same except this and my tan. So I just got here to the restaurant. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me. It's kind of very sunny and it's blinding my face. But look who I see over there. <laughs> just driving around in my igloo. Uh, I had the best time ever. So we went to Ida Claire, uh, we had lunch together, and then Rosie's like, let's go take your picture. So it kind of turned into a, let's go take your picture, go meet my dog Apollo, which is like the cutest, most amazing, most delicious, fluffy bulldog on the planet. So fluffy and adorable that he needs his own Instagram. Like that's how cute he is. Anyway, uh, so we went around and we took some pictures. Rosie um, is also a YouTuber. She has an awesome Instagram account. We became friends because of, you know, media or uh, beauty, beauty, YouTube community, all that stuff. But Rosie has this gift for like her eye, for direction, for making people feel comfortable, for photographing them. Like she just, she has the eye, she has the gift. Um, and it's something that I feel like you have it or you don't. It's just heart, it's love, it's, she pours her soul into whatever she creates and she just, it translates so well. So when she asked me if I would pose for her, I was like, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> Totally. So I will leave her Instagram and her YouTube in the description box below. But it's five o'clock. I'm actually driving home. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do anything really, anything of, of productivity at home before I have to head back out again. Um, my date's at 7.30, so I wasn't gonna drive. I think I'm gonna take like a Lyft or an Uber there. Um, so that takes a little bit of planning to get it just right, so you're not there late or super early. <laughs> Uh, but that's it. Uh, I'm kind of hungry again though. I'm like, should I eat again before my date? Because it's a dinner date. And then I won't be like a super grotesque animal on the date. Although, I mean, that is who I am. They might as well meet me now. <laughs> Driving home, stuck in traffic, yay! Uh, I'll check in later. Should I wear the same thing? Should I even change? I'm like, should I change for my date? I kind of want to change my shoes. You know what ends up happening in these vlogs? The majority of the vlog is like me thinking out loud. <laughs> anyway, that's it. It's Friday night. Uh, we 
waiting for my lift. Uh, I'm actually running on time. Isn't that crazy? That's like a first time ever. I can't say as per usual. <laughs> so I decided to go with the luau outfit and I placed a poll on Instagram. I was like, you guys, I'm tired. I don't want to change for my date. What do you think? Most of you said it was cute enough for a date. Some of you were like, you ain't going to a luau, bro. But uh, it is what it is. So wish me luck. A million three hundred thousand four hundred and eighty tooth time the charm uh, So we're gonna roll with it. We're going to a Mexican restaurant and see where the night takes us uh, I'm kind of excited. He's kind of cute, but I'm not holding my breath anyway So we're going to a Mexican restaurant. Hopefully it's delicious if the food is awful. Hopefully he's delicious Okay, I can't believe I said that y'all watch my vlogs with your children. I Mean I meant it <laughs> Anyway, tonight is gonna be a good night, okay? That is, that's the plan. Uh, I should probably do something about this here, or whatever. Anyway, good night. Hey you guys, 7.30. Okay, so, I got home so late. I got home at one. I am so tired, you can hear my sexy voice. Anyway, the date was, was pretty fun. Uh, we went to dinner, and then we went to uh, Legacy Hall, which is a, I think I've told you guys about it. It's like a grown-up food court. It's three floors, um, and it has it looks inward to like a concert hall. So it was super fun. They had live music. I love live music. I love music in general. I feel like music is one of those things that it's one of those things that's like non-pharmaceutical that can actually heal you. Sometimes it's very cathartic. Anyway, so it was super great, but we didn't get home until one. <laughs> we. <laughs> Okay, Cochina. Um, I didn't get home until one. He got home probably later because he lives far. Um, anyway, so um, right now I have to make myself look less like death. And I totally forgot to tell you guys, but I'm meeting um, Nancy. She is the creator of Briogeo for breakfast. She and her team are actually in town for something. I didn't, I didn't pry, but I don't care. It's just always nice to see Nancy. She's just... You know, it's taken me 33 years of my life to realize that the people you surround yourself with uh, have to be really special. Um, you can't just let anyone into your life, and um, she's just, she's a good human. So anytime she's in town, I think the last time I saw her was like three years ago. Um, if, if ever she's in town and reaches out, I'm like, yes, I'll stop everything that I'm doing. She's just such an inspiration. So meeting Nancy and her team nine, but I have to drive all the way to downtown, uh, or rather uptown. So that'll be a good chunk of the morning, but I did want to pit update you guys. Um, the native deodorant, there goes my phone. So I did want to pit update you guys. Um, yesterday I put it on in the morning after I took a shower. Um, and then I was standing outdoors for a very long time taking pictures with Rosie. And then I went to dinner and then I went to a bar, which was, uh, like we sat on the outside part. So it was pretty hot. <gasps> I wonder if I stink on my date. I stink now. Not like, not like you can smell it. Like I can smell it, but it's not why are we talking about this <laughs> anyway so i don't know if it works any better than schmidt's i'll have to wear it with a white shirt to say if it does or not but so far with the whole stink factor um it's about the same i like how it smells and i also like that it's not abrasive the Schmitz one is baking soda, so it's quite abrasive. This one isn't, it's very smooth. Um, I'm not a sweater or anything. Um, it didn't make my armpits sticky like a lot of natural deodorants do, but I do stink. Uh, however, I didn't reapply. Some of these deodorants might need reapplication, I think, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm being too lenient, but I like it, and so far it worked the same as Schmitz. So if it works the same as Schmitz, and it's not hard on the pits. I totally sounded like Dr. Seuss for armpits. If it worked the same as Schmitz and it's not harsh on the pits, I should I should totally sell that commercial to, to Native. Native, call me. <laughs> okay, I really have to get going. I'm so tired. You guys wanna know a secret? My last night date invited me on a today date. I know, the last time this happened, it wasn't a good idea. I'm gonna need y'all to come together 
and just send some good positive vibes and juju my way. I had this conversation with the guy. I was like, listen, maybe it backfires on me. I don't do like the wait to text or the don't answer on the first call or pretend I'm busy so that what like it piques their interest. I don't. While maybe I should, I'm also not eager about it. You know what I mean? So like last night, uh, he was like, so I'd like to see you again. Uh, when are you free next? And I said, well, when do you want to see me? And he was like, I'd like to see you tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, I can make that happen. You know, so I'm not like, oh my God, tomorrow. You know? <laughs> no one likes that. Like nobody, not even like the guy at the grocery store. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to hang out today. I don't know. Anyway, this intro for Saturday is a lot longer than it needed to be. And I really need to make myself not look like this. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired and I have to leave the house in like 30 minutes. Do you think it's possible to make myself not look as trollish? So here's the plan. I'm totally gonna recycle an outfit because I know for sure it looks cute. I'm gonna make myself look presentable. We'll go. I'm not gonna wear makeup. I'm just gonna cover up certain places in my face. Um, make myself look presentable. We'll leave. We'll go to breakfast. I'll come back. Then I'll do the whole start to finish, get ready. Um, film probably two videos. Um, maybe even more. I actually don't even know what time our plans are today. Um, and then uh, and then we'll have our social plans. Tomorrow, I wanna film a few more videos and then I also wanna do a cooking part video, cooking video for you guys. It's not gonna be in this vlog, it'll be a separate video like the Minestrone one. Um, but yeah, that'll be great. And then I do have a busy week coming up because I have to do all my work that I normally do with the boys are home for summer like off of school so we'll have to do some fun activities i'm gonna be so tired in these vlogs you guys because i'm gonna be like super mom on fleek on fleek does anyone say that anyway that's it you guys i'm running late hopefully i'm not super late um it's just a straight shot down the highway so hopefully i'll be okay i try to make myself look a little presentable but i wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day so this little dress i just picked it up at target the other day it was like 20 dollars uh it's just like a really sh like comfortable chambray like mom dress i thought and then just some little like kicks i actually wore these to my on my trip to orlando and a lot of you guys asked me about them this was a gift to myself for my uh fifth youtube anniversary anyway we really we really have to go because we just, let's, let's go. All right, you guys, so it's 9.30. Um, a little frustrated. So <clears throat> basically, we were supposed to meet at the restaurant at nine o'clock. This restaurant is in Uptown. Now there's two locations for this restaurant. Uh, the newest location is actually like five, 10 minutes from my house. It's at um, Legacy West, which you guys always see me go to when I go out with my girlfriends or whatever, right? True Food is there. Um, most of my dates are there. And so it's very close to my house. But when I was, uh, when we were making these plans to meet for breakfast, Nancy's assistant told me, hey, it's going to be the, at the Uptown location. She sent me the address, everything. So I'm like two minutes away. And Nancy texts me. She's like, hey, we're running a little behind. But it turns out that this place doesn't actually open until 10. So we're gonna go uh, four minutes away to this other restaurant and I'm like, you know what? I'm, tr I'm trying really hard to find this restaurant. It's not coming up anywhere on Google uh, And I'm usually not this inept, right? So she sends me the address and I'm like that address is like 10 minutes from my house She's like, yeah, it's there and I'm like were you guys gonna meet at the other Toulouse? So I've basically been driving around for an hour at this point. <laughs> By the time I get there, they'll probably already be halfway through breakfast. So I was just like, you know, you guys just get started. I'm just gonna go home. I hate miscommunication, you know? And I don't hate miscommunication. Like it doesn't upset me in terms of uh, like at a person. Like I don't get frustrated at a person. I just, it's frustrating that like these little like little mistakes or little errors can make you waste so much time. I'm a big, 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 big uh, proponent on not wasting time, especially on the weekends when my time is so limited. Uh, not to mention I had to get up early and I was tired. So now I'm like, oh, man, I just lost so much time that I could have been working or actually sleeping. Oh, anyway, um, it sucks. I really wanted to see Nancy, but I'm not, I'm not going to force it to happen. I'm not going to rush over there. You know, I'm not going to it wasn't meant to happen. So I'm just gonna 
gonna head home and uh, <laughs> work <laughs> and get some work done. Uh, anyway, things happen for a reason and the guy behind me uh, probably wants to get inside my trunk because that's how close he is to me. Anyway, maybe he's frustrated too. <laughs> so that's the status of my life. Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going home. I'm hungry though. I kind of feel like going to sit down at a restaurant by myself and eating some breakfast. <gasps> you know what? Up Inspired Kitchen, those delicious pancakes. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where the morning takes us, but I have a lot of work to do anyway, so maybe this is what was supposed to happen. Uh, so that's it, that's the update. No breakfast for me with my beautiful friend Nancy, but what are you gonna do? Hey you guys, 3.30. Um, I haven't been doing much all day, so I just started to get ready. I curled my hair, I'm wearing my Guns N' Roses crop top, um, and I'm about to film a few videos. Um, my date is going to pick me up at 7 and we're actually going to go have dinner and then we're going to go to a um, Def Leppard tribute concert show, tribute show, um, which I'm really excited about. One of my favorite things to do ever is live music, but on top of live music, I love tribute bands. Kiss, The Cult, Rat, like all of those like metal, big hair bands, like classic rock. That's like my favorite genre of tribute bands. So um, I found out that, um, I think it's called Def Legend, is a Def Leppard tribute band that's gonna be playing at Lava Cantina. Um, so uh, we're gonna go to that. It'll be so much fun. And I was like, I haven't worn my Guns N' Roses cropped up in a long time. Now might be the great opportunity. But I can't decide if I wanna wear my Guns N' Roses crop top or if I wanna wear my, um, uh, Led Zeppelin baby tea. Does anyone say baby tea anymore? Clearly you know what generation I'm from. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down to film right now. Um, I want to do a get ready with me where I talk to you guys about that date that I walked out of. Um, I feel like I started talking about it in a get ready with me and then I never told you the story and then I said I'll talk about it in a vlog and then I never told you the story there. So I think it should be like a take two what actually happened on this date. Um, then I also want to film a what is this sorcery and uh, my favorites video. So I'm going to try and do that today like before I leave at 7 o'clock. Uh, I'm not holding my breath but uh, that's the plan. So let's go get some filming done. Oh my goodness you guys, 5 o'clock. Can we talk about this for a second? So this wasn't supposed to happen. I was basically just trying to do a tiny bit of blue at the base of my lashes. That's it, that's all that, that's, that's all that I was trying to do. And then all of a sudden, boom, full on cobalt blue smoky eye. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what's happening. Uh, I'm kind of happy that I filmed it. Um, it wasn't a tutorial, it was a get ready with me like I told you guys telling you about that date that I walked out on. Um, but I will list all the products in the description box below. Um, definitely not what I wanted for tonight, but I like the look that I came up with. So I guess we're just gonna have to make do. Anyway, it's five o'clock. I'm gonna go downstairs, take a few pictures, and then um, I have to come back up and film two videos. Hopefully I have enough time to do that uh, before it's time for my second date. And if you guys are wondering, on my lips, I have um, Urban Decay's Liar. It's a cream-based formula, um, isn't it? amazing. It's so interesting to me now that I've gotten so much more tan because of my trip to Orlando, how different some of my favorite beauty products look. Some of them look so much better. Others, I just, I can't, I can't use them anymore. At least not for now. Until my tan fades. <laughs> okay, that's it. Hey you guys, 6.30. I just got done filming uh, the videos that I had planned to finish filming, which I'm kind of proud of myself. I feel like this eyeshadow makes my eyes look smaller, right? Like they look a little squintier. I have a dog hair on my lip and I can't for the life of me get it off. So if I talk funny, it totally sounds like I'm talking drunk, but it's really that hair that just is trying to tell me, oh, there it is. I got it. Chima hair. <laughs> it was trying to tell me how to live my life, okay? An animal hair. Anyway, uh, 6.30, I am wrapping things up here. I need to switch my bag, um, but I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day before I run late. 
up for you. Um, so, boy is picking me up in 30 minutes at 7 o'clock. We're going to go have dinner, and then we're going to go to Lava Cantina uh, to do a little fun rocking out to some Def Leppard or Def Legend. <laughs> Anyway, let me show you guys my outfit. I'm very delirious right now because I'm exhausted. My eyes are burning and uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so we have a Johnny Cash tank top from Target. This skirt, I wear this skirt too much. This skirt is from Esther Penn. And then these booties from Sam Edelman. They are from DSW. I also have them in like a caramel or camel shade, which is why they might look familiar because um, fringe. But can we just take five minutes to admire this tan? It almost makes my legs look thicker, doesn't it? <laughs> can we take uh, five minutes to admire this situation here? What do you think he's thinking? Do you see how he looks at me? He's like, ugh, mama loca. Anyway, so I'm not gonna bring my camera, but I will definitely post some stuff on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of cool stuff before the vlog actually comes out. So I will leave a link to that in the description box below. It's so easy to follow you guys. But Instagram is kind of a butt like YouTube where you follow me, but you can't see my posts. It's Whatever, I'm not gonna ask you to go like my posts, but you know, if you don't see them, it's not because I don't post, it's because Instagram's a <laughs> Wish me luck, and uh, it's gonna be a blast. I love you. You guys, happy Sunday. It's 10 o'clock, and uh, I haven't done anything all day today. Nothing, literally nothing. I've had a headache all day, um, and so I've just, I've done nothing. I haven't done any, I haven't done work. I didn't edit my video for tomorrow. I'm like sucking at life today. It's the worst. Anyway. Oh, these headaches, man, let me tell you. They're driving me crazy. And I wonder if it's something to do with like heat exhaustion, dehydration, not sleeping enough or whatever. Um, but anyway, in summary, uh, the tribute concert, tribute show, whatever, was super fun. Uh, we went to Lava Cantina. We actually had um, pizza for dinner. Um, and then we went to the show. The show was super fun. Um, I got home in a decent hour. Uh, that's kind of one of the perks of going out in... Um, like northern Dallas, where it's like most of the suburbs, is you don't stay out very late. Um, everything closes up pretty pretty early. Anyway, so that that that's my weekend in a nutshell. Um, I didn't do my risotto for you guys, which is what I'm gonna do next. So I'm posting this video next weekend. So next weekend I'm gonna do the risotto for sure, um, but I'll link it once it's live in this vlog so that you guys can actually reference it. I can't even tell you how much more my head hurts with the lights on in my bedroom right now. So I turned them on so that I could do this outro for you guys, but um, like the brightness is really making like my eyes pound, it's the worst. I hate being such a whiny ninny about things, you know? <laughs> Anyway, um, I will list and link anything that you guys saw in the description box of this video. Um, the videos that I filmed, like the what is the sorcery, my favorites, um, my get ready with me where I use the Be Happy Foundation. Um, oh, the get ready with me where I tell you guys why I end up, ended up walking out of that date. Oh my gosh. All of that, once those videos are live, they will be linked in the description box of this video as well, so you kind of get the connection. Um, but other than that, uh, I think that's it for today or for this weekend. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, there will be a link with the playlist of all my vlogs in the description box below as well. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I can't even think. My eyes hurt. <laughs> Y'all know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. Hey, do you want to say goodnight? Come here. Come. Come. Say, so if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, my name is Sophia, and give me a kiss. Hey, look at mama. Oh, you're so pretty. Yes, you are. Tell everyone. See you next week, everybody. Have a good week. I love you.